Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah and today we are going to be doing a little first impressions or review or try on of the Jaclyn Hill 2 palette. I am really excited to try it because I did buy the first one. I love the first one. It's a staple in my collection and I knew that when I saw the color story of the new one I had to pick it up. I'm gonna let you know I'm gonna start today's video. Sorry, whoo! Your girl's nose is running, okay? The weather outside is not ideal. It's been messing with my sinuses. Okay, anyway, um, today I will be starting the video with all of my base already done, and that way we can just focus on the eyes, then I'll go ahead and finish up, and then I'll give my final thoughts. But actually, I have already finished a look and everything for you guys, but if you want to find out how I did it and what I thought about the shadows, please go ahead and continue watching this video. Before I get into it, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. Check me out on Instagram at unbroken underscore babe, and we will just get right into it. Okay guys, I'm really excited to get started. So first things first, this is what the outside looks like. This is before you actually take the package or take the palette out of the package. Um, and then on the back, just has a little thing from Jacqueline and then her picture. When I first saw this palette, I mean, I literally, my jaw hit the floor. Just the color story of this palette was just so beautiful. So I'm really excited to dive into some of the colors that I saw. Um, I did open this once just to see what it looked like, make sure everything was good. However, I did not swatch. I didn't try anything. This will be a first time impressions for all of the shades in this palette. So let's unbox. And here is the actual front of the palette. It's beautiful. And then the back is just plain. It's so beautiful. This color story just has me absolutely dead. Look at how gorgeous that is. Oh, we're gonna get a little closer, look. Just wow. This palette, the colors for me are colors that I know, like I would use. You know, and there's so many different kinds of colors in here. You know, it's not just like a bunch of browns, a bunch of pinks, a bunch of purples. Like, there's so many options for you. I'm really excited to dive in, so I think we should just get started um, and then just kind of go from there and see where the palette takes us. So I am going to start with my favorite brush right here from Morphe. It's called the M504 is the first one that I'm going to be starting with. Okay, so we are zoomed in a little bit more. I don't even know what shade I want to start with. I think we'll start with a nice transition shade just to kind of get into it and then we'll kind of pop some colors in a little bit later. So I'm going to start with this shade right here called Perfectionist. I'm going to start with that one and just kind of pop that in my crease as my transition shade. So I really do like this color so far. It's a very nice natural color. However, it's coming off a little bit more orange than I was expecting it to. I'm not even going to lie. I always get so self-conscious doing my makeup on camera because I feel like it never comes together until the very end. And like right now I look a little bit wild because it's not really blended completely. But I promise you that's the process of makeup, right? Okay, so, so far I do like this shade. Um, I'm definitely going to need to blend it out and it's kind of bizarre because it looks different on camera than it does in my mirror right in front of me. To me, this looks unblended in the, in the monitor or in the, uh, in the camera, but when I look over here, it looks perfectly blended to me. All right, well, I'm going to go pop on, I'm not going to, blah, blah, blah. I can't speak today, you guys. I am going to pop on the same shade on the other eye, and then we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so we have that shade popped on. I really, really like it, actually. I think it's going to be a beautiful transition shade. I'm going to try a little bit of this shade right here called Next. I'm going to take that shade on my Morphe R37. 
that I love so much. I love all of these brushes. These are the brushes that I got in the Jacqueline collection a couple years ago for Christmas, the big collection with all of her favorite brushes, and they have also become my favorites. So I'm going to take this next shade, tap, 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 tap it off, and then I'm going to put it right in the outer corner of the eye and just slightly blend it into the crease but not too much. It's just to darken up the outer corner. The color payoff from these is really gorgeous. I have to tell you, I'm really liking the colors. Um, I'm going to go back in with the first brush that I used which was the M504 with no more product on it and just kind of blend these two together. It's so pretty, you guys. I am in love with the way these two colors blended together. I'm really glad that I picked those two so far. I feel like I like the direction that this look is going in. Sweet. Okay, so next I think I want to blend this upper part out a little bit more with a different shade. So I am going to go in with the first brush again, the M504, and I want to go in with this orange shade called Feeling Myself. Oh, there it is, called Feeling Myself. And I'm just going to lightly tap my brush in there just a little bit. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up a little bit higher than where I blended for the first shade and just lightly Add in some orange. And I'm just blending this up towards the brow bone and out a little bit. Um, just to kind of fan it out. And now if this ever gets a little bit too harsh, I go in with my Cody Airspun Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage. Take a little bit on that same brush and then I'll just go and dab over the areas that I feel are a little harsh. I'm going to go in with this guy right here, which is my Morphe M513. Right here. And we're going to take him and we're going to dip into a shade right here called Crazy. It's even deeper than the one we first used. And I'm just going to grab some of this, tap, 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 tap. And here we go. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to lightly tap it on the outer corner again, but I'm not this time going to blend it up into the crease. So I'm noticing, and I just do want to show you this. I mean, I, oops, I am tapping into the product pretty, you know, a, a good amount of times I am dipping in, but I just want to show you that there is a little bit of, um, kickback from the shadows. I don't mind at all. If the shadows perform for me, I have absolutely no issues with there being a little bit of kickback. However, I am not everyone, so I definitely just wanted to mention that because some people might not love that there is a little bit more kickback, but I personally don't mind. Now I'm going to go back in with that second brush, which was the R37, and I'm going to take no product on it and just blend this guy up into the crease just a smidge. Okay, so this is where we're at right now with the look. I am really excited with how it's coming together. I think it's really beautiful. It almost reminds me of a sunset. I'm so sorry that there is more light coming from this side of the room because I currently film between two windows and sometimes depending on the angle of the sun, there is more light coming from one window than the other. So today, this window decided that it was going to be the brighter one, which is fine, but I'm just letting you know that that's why this side sometimes could look a little bit lighter, is because this side has more of a shadow to it, just due to the lighting in the room. I'm like feeling good. I, you know what? I want to add in some of this dance party. And here's how I want to do it. This guy right here, this is the Morphe M506. And I use this to go under my lash line all the time. I'm gonna go back in with that first shade that I did. 
called Perfectionist. Right there. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to start going under the lash line and just kind of blending that out a little bit. Oh! It would not be an eyeshadow video without me poking myself in the eye. Like I do all the time. It's already starting to water. Do you see it? I'm like. So now I'm going to go back in with that same first brush that I showed you, which was that Morphe M506. And I'm going to take that shade that I showed you, this dance party one. And I'm going to dip into that really quick. Dip, 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 tap, tap, tap. Oh my gosh, I'm so... <gasps> Guys, look at it on the brush. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be so beautiful. Now I'm going to take it and just blend this out the same way I did the other ones. And I'm going to start really nice and close to the lash line. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, so I'm very happy so far with how the look is going. I am really excited about the lower lash line. I think that that dance party shade goes really well and I am living for it. So. I think that this look, for me, the color story is perfect. I just want to add a little bit of shimmer on the eye. I feel like I'm going to trust my gut and go in with this bougie shade right here because it does not matter what concealer brush you use. So I'm going to take that bougie shade, just go in on both sides. I'm so excited and I'm just <laughs> and I'm just going to pack this on the lid now I do want to show you you can see there is fallout um I normally get fallout on a lot of my things and I think it's just the way that I use them. I grab a lot of product at one time and I think that's why some of it falls off on to my face. However, I'm going to use this brush. This is the Morphe and Jeffree Star. This one is the JS2 and this is great for wiping away fallout. So I'm just going to lightly take it. You can already see, look at the difference. I mean, it took everything off and it doesn't smear. It's really, really great. I would definitely recommend this brush as a powder brush or even just something to have on hand, on the go with you if you need to swipe little problems away because um, I find that it's the best for that. I'm going to take another shade though because I'm just like an addict <laughs> at this point. Um, my last shade that I'm going to take and I just want to put it right in the middle, I think, between these two here. I'm going to take this guy Ride or Diamonds that I talked about before on the same concealer brush here and I just want to go in the center of my lid. I am in love with this look. I like how the colors blend together. I like how they work together. I'm very happy. Could not be more pleased. So far I know I've not played with this palette too, too much, but so far I'm very impressed with it and I am, I'm loving it. Totally loving it. Okay, so before I give the final thoughts on everything so far that I really like, I am going to go pop on some mascara and I am also going to pop on a little bit of highlight and then we will be right back. And I'll Okay, so we are back. Um, I did want to let you guys know a couple of the things that I did just to finish off this look. First of all, I went and I tightlined with the black shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette. This one called Temptress right here. I went in with that on this Morphe M432 brush, which is just a really, please excuse the makeup on my hands, um, just a really flat brush just to get under here, underneath my waterline. And threw on some mascara, put on some highlighter and finished up, and then I did put on some of my Jeffree Star, the gloss in the shade Legends Only, that I got from my mystery box that I have been using almost every single day 
since then it's so beautiful and I did want to mention that on the bottom liner as you can see I went in with a little bit of gel liner from ColourPop don't know don't know what the shade is because I use it so much it is rubbed off I think it's called get paid maybe I don't know but it's this gorgeous shimmery metallic shade and I use it all the time um, but I just went and I put some of that in in the waterline because I felt like it needed it. I'm really happy for Jaclyn with this launch. I feel like the first Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe was a smash hit and I knew I had to pick up the second one. As of right now, I really do love this. I think it was totally worth like the $40 that I paid for it, $35, whatever it was. I think that it so far lives up to the expectations of the first one in the formula at least I feel like the formula blended really well it was very easy to blend um, the shadows and the colors worked really well together but I did want to give you guys a really brief and quick try on review whatever you want to call it first impressions of this palette because I really really wanted to open it up and I got it yesterday last night in the mail and I was like oh Ooh, I'm gonna film tomorrow because I really wanted to play with it so so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I had a lot of fun playing around with it thank you so much make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys on my next video